Hi, my name is Marie Tomanova, and I'm so excited I got to do a masterclass with Czech Centers. Um, and first of all, I really want to thank all of you for the overwhelming response that we got uh, for this masterclass. It was so amazing to see all the work um, and especially it was really inspiring to uh, see works coming from people from Japan to Europe to United States and how much passion there is for photography. So that made me really happy. Thank you all for uh, being part of this. Um, I would like to point out a few photographs that were my favorite. Um, I would really like to point out all of them, but we don't have that much time. So it's really just an excerpt of, um, of the ones that really resonated with me among the others. I would like to talk about photographer. Her name is Serena, and she submitted pictures that really resonated with me. They are very intimate, very raw. They are a lot dealing with identity, self-portraiture, capturing the lovers, the moments, the feelings. And we had a little chat on Instagram, it was great. And we actually realized that we have a lot in common. And um, I would like point her work out. The next photographer I wanna talk about is Henry. I love this image. It's an image of his younger brother. And there's just such a, first of all, the beautiful light on the eye that captures you immediately. But then as you look at it longer, there is just so much life and energy in the boy's face. And it's just so alive and I love it. And then there's a the little detail of the window in the back that gets the light through it. And for me, that completely builds the photograph and, and it's just wonderful. Um, the next photographer is Minami from Japan. Um, I love her self portraiture series. Um, they're very obscure and mysterious which I think is amazing that, you know, there is no face, there's not really much of Minami, but yet there is a lot because the fact that she chose to make it so obscure and mysterious actually says a lot about her. And I love that. And I love that when self-portraiture makes you think about it a little bit deeper and explore, and you have to really dig to figure out what it really says. And Minami's work is really strong in that way. Um, the next work that I'm very um, excited to see was from Julia. Um, she did a project, or she's still working on a project with her grandma. And that's very special because I think photography has this amazing power of bringing people together. And it's really amazing if it happens within generations and in family and to build precious relationship with your grandma through working on something creative together is just amazing. Um, and her grandma is just so raw, straightforward and, and who she really is, which is the real power of these photographs. Um, the next photographer I want to talk about is Tato. Um, I love the portrait of all the kids standing next to each other. It has amazing colors. It looks like it's shot on analog, which I love. And it just all comes together as the moment right there. And I think it's, it's amazing and has a, you know, it's great. Um, last photographer um, is Gregor. There is a lot wrong with this picture, but that's what I really love about it. It's amazing. Uh, it's a boy holding his cheeks down and there's this really red color in the eye and blue eyes and purple jacket and lots of colors in the background and it all kind of fits together perfectly as such a beautiful image that has a lot wrong with it in the posture and it, it just immediately caught my eye. So um, I really resonated with, with that. Um, there's way more I could talk about because you guys submitted so many great images and I'm really great we got to do this. Um, I hope we'll do it again uh, and there will be many more Czech photographers doing such a thing and all of them are my favorite photographers sh so definitely stay tuned and um, yeah let's see more photography in the world and spread the love.